Hey, my beautiful Piscean seeker. How are my Pisces doing? Welcome to the existential shift. My name is Morgane, if you're new, welcome. Um, so August, huh? I'm filming this on July 28th. New moon is coming in Leo. It feels good. It feels like a new energy. Don't get me wrong. I'm not, and Mer Mercury is going direct. I'm not from the um, state of mind that we have to be completely dependent on the moods of the planetarian shifts. I think we're here to break through mechanisms and expand beyond the dogma of what karma tells us we're supposed to be going through right now with respect to the planetarian energies of course so i don't encourage people to not do anything when mercury is retrograde and hide in a cave no i think mercury retrograde any retrograde is a wonderful lovely time to do the things that you would normally do, but then being more focused and introspective and aware of the conversation that is being made out of your actions, doings, whatever. Six of Cups, great. Speaking of retrogrades and past coming back. And that's how you maximize and actually work with the energies of retrogrades. It's what we're supposed to be doing. If we're hiding in our room when there's a retrograde, then it's like there wasn't any retrograde because the retrograde is being active in life and in the world and in our you know, relationships and what whatnot and learning from it and going deep into it and seeing the meaning of what happens. You know, It's a more meaningful time that we get to expand and learn from so I hope you did that during this time. I know it was intense, especially because of the eclipses. Um, and that's okay. I had an emotional time, but I also had a pretty magical time that, you know, some pretty great things happened to me in the past month. Like, pretty great. So looking back, I'm happy I went out and about and lived my life. You know? Eight of swords. So... Putting this aside, Six of Cups, Eight of Swords. Um, this is an energy of being really up in your head about someone in your life that could be a soulmate. This could be someone that you've known for a long time or someone that you feel like you've been, you know, um, in this life together for a long time. Two of Cups in the bottom of the deck. So. This is actually feeling good. The Six of Cups and Two of Cups energy are pretty beautiful. But there's a thorn in this because we have the Eight of Swords in between. It's like... Let me look at this. Two routes here. One is because someone is uh, really occupied and caught up and somewhat stuck maybe in a um, past relationship, Pisces, or a connection or something that you uh, see as a very strong soulmate connection, you're kind of missing out on a relationship right behind your back that can manifest if you just like, you know drop the robes and the blindfolds and see what is available. That's one. Another is that this is the same connection, right? But because someone is so caught up in what happened in the past and they are so in their head about it, this could be past arguments, past breakups, past fights, whatever, 
it's hard for them to flow in the connection. Okay? This is a projection of past relationships or past experience on a present that is actually could be very, very, very positive and two of cups like. But because in your head you constantly are triggered by something from your past, then you bring it with you. But here's the good news. This is a very strong connection with a very sweet energy that is just waiting for you or for the other person to let go of that mindset. Now, I believe in project in, in that people always reflect each other. Um, so this could be two people doing the same thing. We know who will break that cycle, right? So I'm speaking to you, Pisces. You break the cycle. Every time you have a negative thought, stop yourself, hold yourself. You know when you have that, um, when we imagine scenarios in our head. So instead of going to the negative scenario, imagine a positive scenario, a positive conversation. Instead of things going wrong, how they can go well. That will ease your tension and will automatically allow the other person to ease their tension. Um, because Six of Cups, Two of Cups, damn, that's, that's sweet. It's just this Eight of Swords thing. And it's all in our head. Eight of Swords have very little power in reality when it's surrounded with Six and Two of Cups. So, let's see where this is leading to. These are the uh, vice versa tarot, by the way. And as I'm showing it to you, we have the Knight of Cups. Oh, and the Five of Swords. So the Knight of Cups wants to approach. Wants to express their heart. But it's, instead, it gets shuffled in the mayhem of life. And what is created is a mental dilemma. Indecisiveness. So, this is literally a battle between the mind and the heart. And it's like, I'm getting someone that every time they want to do an approach or have a conversation or create an opportunity or they're trying to, you know, want to reach out, life kind of happens and then they, you know, they their, their mind gets lost in whatever situations arise and, it, and then it gets pushed to the side or get, gets shuffled in the deck. Don't let it get shuffled in the deck, Pisces. Wear your heart on your sleeve. You wear your heart on your insides, big time. But how many of you actually express it with words? You know, Pisces is a very deep realm of emotions and layers and you know, and, um, state of minds, but we don't always understand you if you don't explain. Oh, beautiful, the Empress. Look at how pretty she is in, these, in this deck. Wow. And I like this eagle thing going on here. Two-headed eagle. Interesting. I've never noticed this. Okay. Because I barely work with this deck. I should work with it more often. So... There is a very powerful, wise woman involved, the Empress. Very giving, very kind, very benefic, but not like um, not like an empath seeking um, validation type of giving, but like a giving from a place of having, a giving from a place that knows how to set clear boundaries not harsh boundaries but clear boundaries so this is a healthy type of giving and the empress is very very knowledgeable in relationships and life it's a very it's it could be a maternal figure it could just be you know a divine feminine 
So I'm getting that there's a divine feminine whose energy is so, so, so bright and strong that it just kind of defeats any and all mental anguish that is blocking this energy. Look how beautiful this is. There's also like this um, chance encounter between two people and one of them um, might already be in a relationship so it kind of like um, throws them, them off and confuses them like someone just kind of enters their life out of the blue and now they're in a five of swords type of energy of what to do with it. The empress-like energy is pretty strong in this reading. So it seems to be the direction of where they're going if this is a narrative. So this, if this has happened, now this is like present or past, recent past energy. So you know if this is your narrative, if this speaks to you. Show me more, please, for Pisces for August. Wow. Okay, the star. Someone is definitely in love and infatuated by a very beautiful, um, beautiful energy. Wait, that's not the star. That's the three of cups. Same. It's just the vibe that I got. And I really like this whole nature under the stars, night kind of thing. It's beautiful. It's very... Um, Camelot, Avalonian vibe. Yeah, my name is Morgane and I have a thing with Avalon. Go figure. Okay, it's two threes. So, things are clearing up pretty fast in August. It's like, Right on the beginning of August. Very um, warm, flowing, loving energy. This is great. I, look, this could be like um, spending time with a very loved family member, like a mother figure, uh, Pisces. Uh, this could be also a love connection that you feel really, really, you know, um, safe and calm and serene within. So if it feels a little bit of like um, sharp edges with this whole eight and five of swords energies, it's it's dissipating pretty fast. But let's see. Okay. So we have the king of swords, eight of pentacles, and the page of pentacles. King of swords is with his back though. So. This is, this is a masculine that is very, very, very focused on their work. That is kind of turning away from the Divine Feminine with, their, with his um, energy. Not a fan of that, I have to admit. But Eight of Pentacles and Page of Pentacles, it's, not, it's, it's a very positive energy. It's a very focused, um, um, what's the word? apprenticeship type of energy where you work and learn at the same time where you really develop your craft but it creates a little bit of a communication uh, shutdown where you know like people can't do two things at the same time where they're like very tunnel vision like working on something and then forget the world this is the kind of masculine that is coming through that is extremely focused on his craft and kind of forgets the world and then there's this um, feminine energy that is flat as divine divine this empress three of cups thing and yeah and I'm getting that because of that they're not together now I don't know if it means like separated like broken up like really in reality not together or if they're together but you know 
feels apart. You know how we can live in the same house with someone and not feel like you're together? Because everyone is really focused on their own world, which don't get me wrong, it's really important to have your own um, self-expression in the world, whether it be your career or your hobbies and all that. You know, you have your separate cycles, but they need to meet in the middle. There needs to be um, a, a communication between the worlds. Because if there's just a blockage, then there's no togetherness. There needs to be a balance, learning how to balance between um, your, your work, your career, and your personal life. Because I'm getting someone who doesn't really know how to do that, who's putting, like, like very extreme in one thing like oh now I'm just doing this and then okay now just learn how to sometimes it's just a simple matter of time management where okay if I set a time for myself to do XYZ throughout the day in the first five six hours then I have the rest of the day clear to do other things you know that also brings mental clarity as opposed to like a zigzag extreme energy of the mind being completely one thing and the mind being, it, 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 it allows more flow of energies where different aspects of your mind and of your essence are learning from each other and thus evolving better um, as opposed to being in one type of energy and then a sharp move to a different type of energy and then they can't really learn from each other, teach each other. So this is within the self, within the mind, but also within between two people if, if let's say a couple is the if the feminine is completely in her world and the masculine is completely in his world and where's the union where's the point of all of where's the point of expanding the world expansion only happens when alchemy happens when two matter mix right and here i'm getting so this energy is flowing it's water energy it knows how to be here and there at the same time. It's feminine, okay? It's multitasking. <laughs> it's very stereotypical. This reading is very stereotypical, what is coming up for, like, the uh, gender description. And then there's the masculine is like, I'm in my work right now. All I do is this. <laughs> now, if I didn't have this king of swords that is very mental, with their, his back turned, and if it was just Empress, Three of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, I'd be like, oh, okay, this is beautiful. Two individuals with their own world, and yet, you know, Earth energy and water energy, it flows together well. Great, but no, I have this guy. I'm turning my back right in between. So something to work on. If this is not you, then it's just what I'm seeing the other person doing. Hmm. Let's see further. Pisces, you are my um, in heaven. And in uh, Vedic astrology, not not in tropical astrology, in Vedic astrology, my um, my Venus and Mercury are in Pisces. And in tropical, it's like in, in Aries, so completely different <laughs> energy. I'm like, who am I? Do I think like an Aries? Do I think like a Pisces? Oh, I'm complex. <laughs> Pisces for August. Show me more about this. Um, show me more about this King of Swords turning their back kind of thing. Two of Pentacles fell right on top of the Eight of Pentacles and the King of Swords. There's some sort of a dilemma um, going, there's a lot of going back and forth about something, changing your mind, not being sure. Okay, this King of Swords is um, hyper vigilant focus on what he's doing because there's something that he's not sure about that he's in, in a dilemma about so he's kind of using uh work as an excuse either for the other person or or within himself like he's telling 
telling it to himself um, as way of kind of avoiding the other person, I think, until they're making a decision. So I think this King of Swords character is like, okay, I'm just going to really focus on my work and tell them that I have to work all the time until I make a decision or until I have a clear mindset about what it is that I want to do. Um, so you can reverse the roles. If this is you, Pisces, um, or if you're a cross watcher and you feel like you're the one who's doing that, Bruce Lee said, you can't learn how to swim by, by sitting on the pavement thinking about swimming. You got to jump in the waters and start swimming, and that is the thing that will teach you. And also, you don't really know how you feel about something until you go through the experience. So, the Two of Pentacles gives just that. It's a, it's a, it's a made-up dilemma. It's not like the Five of Swords where all options are shitty and you're like, oh, whatever I do doesn't seem to end well. Two of Pentacles, you know, the, there's an Ace of Pentacles there. There's a very clear truth in there. And the dilemma comes from fear and from worst case scenarios, but what if, but what if. So the guidance is to drop a pentacle, drop a foot, the, the other foot, and just be with one option that is in your mind. Let it manifest, and that's how you know. And which one? The, the, the gut, the earth element. What feels right, what feels like is for you. If you're not sure, toss a coin and then see how that option feels like. And then worst case scenario, if it was the wrong option, then at least now you know and you are free to make a different decision. Okay? If this has nothing to do with love, if this has nothing to do with a potential partner, um, this could be um, traveling, whether traveling to somewhere or not. This could be a potential, should I move, should I relocate for work kind of thing. You might be in a relationship with someone or maybe you yourself that is getting a job offer or an opportunity um, and they're contemplating if to go there. Um, and there might be debating whether to stay with you or to take that offer and, and move somewhere. I don't know if they've spoken to you about it. I don't know if you've spoken to them about it. Um, but they might surprise you and say, hey, why don't I come with you? So consider if that's your narrative, consider talking about it. Okay, let's see further. Oh, aha. The star. Boom. This is... Um, and this is what I thought was the star. Wow, it's a beautiful reading. Okay. I think what is going on is... Um, while this King of Swords energy is um, doing their deliberating and fo someone else had something similar. I think it was either Libra or Taurus. No, Libra. Libra also had this... Uh, no, no, Taurus. Taurus. Interesting. Okay, so while this King of Swords energy is doing their work focus deliberating kind of thing um, this, this Empress Three of Cups energy, the feminine this is a very creative person she is, if, if it's a she and feel free again don't get stuck on the gender but it's just because it's a feminine right, the Empress and the Star but she's very 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 creative and very um dreamlike and very um very there's something magical and she's she's in between worlds she's like um 
I think she goes back and forth beyond the veil. I think it's someone very, um, that has a touch and go in both the real world and the, um, other dimensions. Again, the Avalon thing is coming up, like, um, because the myth of Avalon is that, you know, I, it's, it, that it still very much so exists, but in a different frequency, right? In a different vibration that we cannot reach. So even if it's right in front of us, we can't see it because we're not tapped into the vibration that we need to be vibrating on in order to be able to be a part of it, right? So I'm getting a feminine that can literally um, tune in and out of the world. So she, in a way, knows why and what um, this person is doing, why they're doing it. And it's almost like, like, it's a very, it's, it's spiritual maturity where she's just like, okay, they have their journey, they have their process, they have their mind mechanism that they need to um, work through. I'm just going to be here, do my thing, my world. <laughs> it's, it's like someone that is like, okay, with you it's fun, without you it's also fun. I'm, I, my, my life is fun. <laughs> I really like I really like this feminine if it's you or if it's someone you're dealing with it's like she she's like un uh, not bothered by it it's like oh you're doing this now okay um, oh you went okay <laughs> it's like, I, I'm, I'm busy here mixing up um, energies and crossing between the worlds so okay talk later <laughs> It's gorgeous. There's also a little bit of an alien vibe to her. Maybe her and I used to hang out in Avalon. Okay, one more for August and then I'll continue this in the extended. Uh, and I will give you guys uh, messages from the I Ching right now. Um, of course. But of course. One more for August. No, that's too much. For Pisces. Okay, the world. Yeah, so someone is very much debating about travel or move, um, or again, like stepping into a different mindset and kind of, it's like the, this energy that has been um, going in and out beyond the veil and it's kind of fine tuning her frequencies to, um, you know, to tap in and out in different, different spheres. Um, it's like she's tapping into something so grand that it's almost like, so this masculine is um, starting to fade out because this whole distant thing has in a way triggered her powers even more. That's interesting. Um, and she found such, so much magic and solace and meditation. And, and it's like she's reached a certain like, completion and like satisfaction or it's like whatever will be will be this is not a this is not like in a bad way towards this um masculine but it's like while he's handling mundane things thinking his you know he's making major life decisions she's like she's like bouncing between worlds so i'm sorry this is so uh, interesting and it's like it starts off as a really sweet love connection but then all this mind comes in and kind of creates a little bit of um, of a gap and 
so this is important there's a portal that is about to be closed and then if you're in it then you're in it and if you're not in it then you're not in it it's like I'm getting someone that is like okay if this person ends up in a good way in my life by this and this time then it's meant to be and it's great and we start a cycle together but if they're not then I'm I'm continuing this cycle on my own and it's almost like she's just giving it to the energy she's just giving it to her guides to the universe she's like making an offering here this is my offering if you take it wonderful we can drink from the cup together and we can like you know um experience this these worlds together but if not if you and, and it's okay it's almost like there's a lot of there's a lot of different vortexes like different options portals and it's it's a matter of like once this vortex once this cycle is like okay who's in it, in this with her and who isn't and i'm really curious to discover okay. if what this guy will do right right because if he's still in his um uh, tunnel vision mixed with dilemma kind of thing over what to do how to offer what to bring and like he doesn't step his foot in this world by the time the portal closes august is a portal like this whole eclipse season was this very massive vortex like energies of okay and then once everything calms down okay who's who's where does that make sense and it's like and i'm getting that this energy here this feminine here is like the she's putting it in the hands of the universe and the hands of the energetic vortex what will be will be but there's a very strong sensation like she's aware that this this is a journey that needs to she has a journey that she needs to begin now and she can't focus on energies that are very like you know kind of in and out back and forth kind of thing because she, this is like wanting to feel things deeply and wanting to explore worlds and state of minds very interesting very magical and it's like well are you entering this vortex with me or not kind of thing and this is eight 17 is eight and this is eight of pentacles and the two here we also have the eight and the infinity sign eight 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 yeah it's it's a karmic energetic portal and it's directly connected to this um, individual here that we see. I think it's the same person in the Eight of Pentacles and King of Swords kind of thing. I don't think there's any ill intent with this individual. I think there's it's just the way they operate. Um, and honestly, I'm not getting in here an answer of whether or not they, you know, cross to this world and stay in this world and on or if they choose to stay in a different in their world or in, or in something different more physical more like mundane this is a honestly i think this is a matter of whether or not this person is ready for this type of energetic um life it's it's um there's, there's no right and wrong it's just a matter of their if they um if their frequency is literally aligned with it and here's the thing we always think like oh will my frequency become aligned this is on you guys this depends on your 3d actions every action that you do can either raise or lower your vibration depending on the on the frequency of the act of the act itself actions are like keys Okay, you have uh, an, an, an um, 
a vision, an ideal, a, a will, uh, something like that. You see beyond the door that you want to step into. It's not just going to open up. You need to put in the key. The key is the action that you do, your decision making. Decisions making. Okay. Every little decision that you do adds up and either brings you to a state of, you know, empress, star, world kind of energy that is very, very high up there um, and very in tune with the universal, um, I want to say power is more like energies. Someone has made an offering to the universe asking for um, asking for something divine or asking for their soulmate or for their um, and then they're, they're, they're letting it go and being like, okay, if the person that I'm involved with now, if it's him or if it's her, then they'll just drop all, drop all these, you know, mind. This King of Swords is coming up a lot in readings. then they'll meet me there, right? They'll meet me there. If it's meant to be, they'll go there. They'll come with me there. And if it's not, it's not and it's okay. It's like a very like um, releasing energy. Now, the potential of it is beautiful. It's a soulmate connection. Soulmate connection. Well, hopefully the extended will show us if there's an answer, a clear answer, or extra guidance. Um, but if not, it's yet to be discovered. Very lovely. Okay. Um, and at the bottom of the deck, just a card to kind of support all of this conversation, we have the lovers. Yeah, a major choice of love. Okay, major, major, the, the lovers is always about, about choices, but this is a very deep choice. This is like a very meaningful choice that can literally take, uh, take you either in this direction or that direction and into this vortex or into that vortex. Um, and it's like the portal is now opening and it's like, okay, are you walking through this portal or are you not? Are you walking together through the soulmate connection or not? It's it's all choices. It's all a choice. No one can tell you what to do, right? Even even if it's something meant to be, which seems like it. It seems like a very, you know, like a soulful connection, right? So even if it's something that both your um, souls say agreed upon before coming into this lifetime, it still it can never be forced, right? Can never be forced so you know doors can present themselves to you Pisces and potential acts of you know opening those doors um, like key like can present themselves to you as opportunities but whether you do it or not and whether you use the key or this opportunity of an action to do something you know it's completely on you it's completely on you. No one can make can make you walk your own paths, you know? The sky can clear themselves out, the sun can come out, the road can show itself to you. That like the universe can do so many things and present so many, you know, cues and, and signs along the way. But it's your it's your legs. It's your hands. It's your words. your decision free choice right free will so I don't know what you'll decide Pisces or what the person you're uh, involved with will decide or what the two of you will but it's major it seems it seems be big and beautiful and all someone is really in their head I think this is I'm sorry I think this is this king of swords eight of Pentacles guy I'm, I'm drawing from the bottom of the deck and here we have the ten of cups this could be very beautiful like if this is where you're 
at right now if you resonate with it it's not that i think that within a month you'll jump into the ten of cups because this is the completion like this right this is the wedding this is the children this is the future together but this is definitely something that can lead to it and i think this is why this person is so in their head worried and anxious and so much thinking and overthinking and kind of drowning in work just to hmm. well this is the choice right this is the crossroad on one side there's this and on the other side there's this can't wait to discover which one will it be Pisces please let me know in the comments and um, and, 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 uh, and I'm hoping to see more into this in the extended but let's first ask for a completion message from the I Ching please for my Pisceans Pisces Sun Moon Rising Venus other placements intuitively guided you'll know if it's yours so an I Ching, please, for August for Pisces. Okay. In the information box, guys, below in the description box, there's the link for this extended that I will do right now. But there's also 21. There's also um, a link to Tarot Masterclass Bunkai to learn the secrets of Tarot Mentored by Me. It's an online class, so if you're curious, check it out. And there's also a way of, to book a private reading with me. Um, and there's also a 2019 Ministress of Magic, which is the yearly extended. Okay, and yeah. Also, I'm on Instagram, so feel free to visit me there. It's the existential shift. Okay. She who fighting through. Right here. Oh, no, there it is. Above fire, below thunder. Thunder and lightning overcome obstructions. When an undertaking that is making good progress meets an obstacle, one must bite through with vigorous determination. Tentative or timed, uh, sorry, tentative or time, timed efforts will not serve. Hmm. Thunder frightens and lightning illuminates. In the same way, the just application of laws and penalties will deter those who would obstruct the endeavor. Wow. Okay. So this is like no flow. <laughs> do not flow. <laughs> this is like you have to do something. Okay. So this is probably a message for this um, five of swords, nine of swords, king of swords, eight of pentacles, two of pentacles. Um, probably masculine, but it could be a feminine, of course. The energy that is really, really in their head and escaping to tunnel vision type of like work thing. So when there is an obstruction, oh my God, I, I didn't notice this picture until now. So when there is an obstruction, when there is a delay, when there is a challenge, it needs to, the message of this card for this reading is very clear. It's being very very active and immediate and solving it like either really um, getting rid of the obstacle or the issue or doing the thing that needs to be done like really really like not going around it not it, it said not to be tentative not to be like um, Because I can't say that it's this energy because this energy is so aligned with energies like the Empress, the Star, and the World with this Three of Cups feminine. It's very, very connected. It's but look, but look at these energies on the other hand, right? Look at this. This is really being in your head and in anxiety and kind of really, really um, paralyzed almost mental anguish and then two of pentacles you know like not putting your foot down five of swords is also um like being on the fence type of energy and this king of swords is you know it, he can be very very sharp and analytical but he has his back turned so this is definitely for this 
the message is for oh, I'm sorry. This message is for this. So I don't know which one is you, Pisces, in this. So you you know, okay. Um, and if you feel like this speaks to you, that you that you there's something that you need to act upon, then you know, go for it. I'm not telling you what to do. I, I'm, I'm, I can only, you know, advise and according to what I see. Okay, guys, I will continue this right now. If I don't see you on Vimeo, then I'll see you regardless in your other placements. Um, I recommend to watch your past month's reading, your July. We're still in the month. We're ending it right now so to make the connections. Um, so, yeah. That's it. I love you guys. Thank you for being a part of my journey and I will see you in a sec.